Hi friends, this is Simran. A very warm welcome to all of you in my channel, The Recipe Hut. In this video, let's learn how to make masala paneer, that is, herbed Indian cottage cheese in instant pot. In herbed Indian cottage cheese, some herbs and spices are added at the time of setting it. Because of all the herbs that are added to it, the flavors are distributed equally throughout and it is so soft and delicious. It's a very healthy snack recipe and a perfect party appetizer. Let's see what all ingredients we need. To make this, I have taken 6 cups, that is 48 ounce or 1.5 liters of full fat milk. To make paneer, I prefer using the full fat milk because it makes a really creamy paneer. Lemon juice, approximately 3 tablespoons but this quantity might slightly vary for you depending on the milk type you take. Himalayan pink salt to taste, dry mint powder 1 4th teaspoon, red chili flakes half a teaspoon. The chili flakes I am using are not spicy so you can adjust the quantity as per your liking. Roasted cumin powder 3 4th teaspoon, black salt 1 4th teaspoon. You can adjust the quantity of spices as per your choice. Please note, I am making this recipe in an instant pot, but you can make this on a regular stove top also. The procedure remains the same. Close the lid and your knob can be on venting or sealing. It doesn't matter. And now we will turn on the yogurt mode. Press the adjust button and we need to get it to boil. If you don't have yogurt mode in your instant pot, then you can simply turn on the saute mode and let the milk come to a boil. Milk is boiled. Let's open the lid. For me, it took approximately 15 minutes for the milk to get boiled, but this time might slightly vary for you depending on the quantity of milk you take. After opening the lid, we will turn on the saute mode and adjust it on high. Give it a stir. And now we will let this cook for a few more minutes. After a few minutes, you will notice that the milk has come to a rolling boil stage. And if I measure the temperature of the milk, it's approximately 207 degrees Fahrenheit or 97 degrees Celsius. Quickly turn off the instant pot, otherwise the milk can spill over. And now I've added 2 tablespoons of lemon juice. Give it a stir and you can see that the milk has already started to curdle but you still cannot see the clear way so I'm going to add another tablespoon of the lemon juice and wait for a few seconds and you can see that the whey has separated from the milk curds so we need to get it till this stage. Now add approximately one and a half cups of ice cubes. The ice cubes will lower the temperature of the whey and it will help in stopping the cooking process, which will ensure that we end up with a very soft paneer. Because at this stage, if you let it cook more, then you might end up with a chewy paneer. Now I'm adding a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. Give it a mix. And now take out the inner pot. On a bowl, I've kept a big sieve, lined it with a cheesecloth, strain all the way and separate the milk solids from it. Transfer it to a separate bowl and keep this way aside. I am not rinsing the paneer at this stage because since we've added the lemon juice to curdle it, that will add mild tartness to the herbed paneer and that tastes really good but if you want you can go ahead and rinse it at this stage now to this we'll be adding all the spices dry mint powder black salt red chili flakes and roasted cumin powder to this you can also add fresh cilantro or you can even add oregano so basically you can add any herbs or seasoning of your choice give everything a good mix at this stage, taste it and adjust the salt and spices as per your preference. 
I added some more salt to it and now the seasoning is perfect. Now we will gently squeeze it. Please make sure that you squeeze it very gently because if you squeeze it too hard there are chances you will end up with a dry and crumbly paneer. Transfer the paneer on a flat surface and now I am twisting the cheesecloth from one side. Make sure this fold is on the edge because if the fold is in the center after the paneer sets there will be a big dent in the center of the paneer slab. To avoid that make sure you keep it on the side. I'm placing a kitchen towel to absorb all the moisture that will be dripping out from the paneer. And now on top of this we need to put some heavy weight. So I've kept another plate and on that I've put a cast iron pan. I did not put the pan directly on the paneer because the moisture from the paneer can damage the pan's seasoning. Please make sure the pan is well balanced so it doesn't slip and to avoid breaking anything. And now we will let this set for 4 to 5 hours. The way that is left behind after straining the paneer is loaded with proteins and has various other health benefits. You can use this to knead your chapati or paratha dough. You can put it in your gravies, lentils or you can also cook rice and pasta with it. I generally store it in a glass bottle like this and it stays in the fridge for up to a week. But this does have salt in it so please keep that in mind while using it for your recipe. It's been approximately 5 hours, let's have a look at our paneer. Remove the cheesecloth and you can see how well our paneer has set. You can also make it in a tofu press but I personally find the texture of paneer from this method better. From 48 ounce or 1.5 liters of full fat milk, I was able to obtain approximately 5.5 ounce or 150 grams of paneer. I like to cut the edges first and then I'll be cutting the pieces. That way you get uniform pieces but this is completely optional. If you want you can directly cut the pieces. Enjoy the snack as is or you can put it in your sandwiches or you can even put it in small mini skewers, add some cherry tomatoes and olives and enjoy. It tastes best when it's fresh but if you want to store it, you can store it in an airtight glass container in the refrigerator for up to 2 days. Did you see how we were able to make such a healthy snack with very few basic ingredients? and it has come out to be so tasty and it is so soft. Friends, give this recipe a try and I'm sure it's gonna finish in no time. Thumbs up if you've liked the video, subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you get an update when I upload a new recipe. Thanks for watching.